guys if you uh went back and watched some of my older videos from the beginning of last year uh, you see i've actually been out here fishing did some pan fishing and trout fishing here in this little lake right here and then there's actually a bigger lake on the other side of my van here that you can't quite see from where we're at this is a uh, this is home for the night we're gonna give it a try anyway so for those that don't know we're in kentucky and kentucky doesn't have a lot of uh blm land like you have out west um, but we do have wmas which are wildlife management areas only a few of them allow camping this one doesn't have any signs about no camping or no overnight parking so we're gonna give it a try for tonight and uh, we're just gonna respect the area keep our space clean and uh just have a good night well unfortunately it looks like people have some trash here soda can and bunch of nasty cigarette butts unfortunately which is why a lot of places like this don't let people camp or, or park overnight because people just don't take care of it so we're gonna do the right thing we're gonna get a trash bag get this stuff cleaned up and uh then we'll get on with the rest of our evening like what reason do you have to just dump all your cigarette butts out here whoever did this is a straight jerk walk around make sure I didn't there's not trash anywhere else a little piece here Looks like I don't see too much thankfully hand sanitizer on after touch those nasty cigarette butts there's no one around us and it's not quite dark yet but I think we're gonna go ahead and <laughs> stop being a baby I'm not going nowhere and you were fine so what I was trying to say is uh, it's not super dark out yet and there's literally no one around us, but I think I'm going to go ahead and get my window covers up. That way if uh, somebody does drive past, we're not super obvious to, that there's somebody in the van. Definitely not something you see every camp trip. Not sure what kind of helicopter that was. If you know, uh, leave a comment. But uh, still pretty cool to see. I've actually only been in a helicopter once, but it was a super fun experience. I would definitely do it again. All right, let me get switched into my Crocs real quick and that'll make getting in and out of the van a little easier. Nothing too crazy going on, on this trip. Like I said, uh, got a late, later start today than I meant to, but we're out here. Um, do have a cool freeze dry meal we're gonna try tonight and also have an electric blanket. We're gonna give that a shot tonight. We're gonna plug that heated blanket into the Jackery and throw it under us and see if that helps us stay warm tonight. It's supposed to get down to about 29, 30 degrees. So I think we'll be okay though. Cheers guys. I feel like this thing looks extra bright in here tonight. <laughs> All right, I don't have a heater right now, but I got my heated blanket, which I'm gonna turn on tonight. And I got some of these hot hands, so. If you've never used hot hands before, they're pretty simple. You just open up the package and once they're exposed to air, you just kind of shake them to activate them and uh, they start to warm up. It can take maybe 20, 30 minutes for them to get like real hot, but they definitely heat up. I keep a couple in my pockets or on my legs or whatever if I'm cold and I can uh, throw some in my sleeping bag tonight when I'm sleeping. And then I usually take some and it put underneath just like a thin blanket uh, where Anna's sleeping. So she's got a little heat too. I don't think I know how to juggle. 
I think it worn one up at a time. All right, let me get my cabinet over here. I have, I have a couple different meals, but we're gonna do this one tonight. It's the Mountain House Adventure Meals Chili Mac with Beef. I've actually had this one before and it's not bad. So I went ahead and grabbed it again tonight. Nice, easy, quick meal. And uh, we're just gonna boil some water and we'll be good to go. Warming up the van a little bit. All right, Mountain House Adventure Meal. It says, just add water ready in 10 minutes. It says, open package at Terra Notch. Remove and discard oxygen absorber. Carefully add one and a half cups of boiling water. Stir carefully and close zipper. Wait five minutes, stir again, reseal, let stand. An additional four minutes, stir and enjoy right out of the pouch, it says. I need a uh, matron cup. I'm gonna grab one of those out real quick. All right, we gotta tear this thing open. Take this little pouch out. Throw it away. Here's what it looks like. If you guys have never uh, never seen it, looks a little strange, but. It's actually pretty good, so let's get some water in it so it can uh, get to cooking. We'll just eyeball it. Stir this up. All right, seal it up and set alarm on my phone for five minutes all right it's been five minutes here's what it looks like now we're gonna stir it and then uh, seal it back up again all right and the package says let it stand for another four minutes after that so we're gonna let it sit four minutes and uh, then we'll be ready to eat Brought me some peanut butter and got some bread in my cabinet over here. I just brought some a couple slices of bread from home, but I don't know about you guys, but anytime I have chili, I like to have me a little peanut butter sandwich with it. So I'm gonna make me a peanut butter sandwich, and uh, by the time we're done with that, our chili should be about ready. All right, it's been four minutes. Give her a try here. good though. Tear my sandwich in half here. I don't know about you guys, like I said, but anytime I have chili at home, gotta have a little peanut butter sandwich to dip in it. Flavor-wise, it's good. I feel like it's got maybe like a little bit of a weird texture, like some of it's kind of chewy-ish maybe, but it's good. Well, guys, not bad. I uh, just couldn't finish it all. I would give it a, hmm, it's a tough choice. Somewhere between a six and a seven. Uh, the flavor's great, like the flavor's cool. I don't have any problems with the flavor of it, but the texture's a little weird. I feel like it was a little chewier, tougher, more so than I remember last time. So maybe I didn't let it cook long enough or something, but we'll, we'll say seven out of 10, because flavor's good, it just, uh, had a little bit of an odd texture to it, so. All right, guys, and I know I've been talking about the heated blanket off and on throughout the video, so I wanna show you guys what we bought. We bought the Auto Drive 12 volt travel blanket. Uh, picked it up at Walmart, I think it was about $23, $24, something like that, after taxes. Another guy on YouTube 
tried it out. I think he got like 12, 13 hours on it with it on low on, off his Jackery 240. So uh, we're going to be using it for about eight hours, if that. And uh, we're still going to keep it on low, though. We're just going to stick it underneath of us and uh, add a little extra heat to the van tonight. Well, guys, these lights have been on a little while since I've been cooking. I'm going to get them turned off and uh, eat me some dessert. Brought me a little Hershey bars, maybe watch a movie. Like I said, I'm going to plug that blanket in probably like 11, 12 o'clock tonight and uh, run it to about 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. So I'll let you guys know how it does. See you in the morning. So I ended up plugging in the uh, heated blanket to the jackery around 10 o'clock last night. And uh, I woke up about 4.20 in the morning and uh, the jackery was completely dead. So uh, it lasted me, you know, around six hours or less. Um, a little disappointed with that, but I was hoping it would at least make it through a full night's sleep. But uh, I think next time if I decide to use it, I won't turn it on until I wake up cold in the middle of the night and just rely on my sleeping bag. Say good morning. Say good morning, you two. We slept good last night, didn't we? Wasn't too bad. You ready to get up? I think I'm gonna get my jeans out of the bottom of my sleeping bag here and get those on and take the pup out. And see what the lake looks like this morning. Definitely a a little chilly this morning. It's around 30 degrees right now, maybe less. I'll check here in a minute, but walk down here and check out the lake. Short trip again today. Just uh, really got here later than I wanted to last night. I was actually planning on fishing this morning and <laughs> realized I forgot to put my tackle bag back in my van. So I have all my fishing poles, but no uh, no tackle. So uh, we're not going to hang around too long this morning. I think we're just going to get everything situated in the van and make our way back home for some uh, coffee and breakfast with the wife and enjoy the rest of our day before I uh, head back to work uh, tomorrow. There's this old barn over here too we haven't checked out yet this morning it says absolutely no admittance beyond this sign so you're not supposed to go into the barn but you can see everything from here pretty cool it's huge And it's determined to go in. You can't go in, dude. Come on. Come on. We can't go in there. Come on. We can't go in there. Come on. Man. What a pretty place to wake up to. Always love this area anyway. I love coming out here to fish. It's usually pretty quiet other than the occasional car or truck driving by. So first time I've camped out here, though. Or overnight, dude, should I say. All right, go bye-bye. Want to go see mommy? Want to go see mommy? I gotta put away some stuff in the van first. You wanna get in where it's warm? Let's go bye-bye, get on. There you go, good girl. Probably ought to go ahead and start the van and let it warm up and the windows unfog before we try to go anywhere. I'll go ahead and start it, let it warm up while we're straightening up my counter behind me. As always guys thanks for watching be sure to like the video and if you're not already subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys next week peace